everyone, it's Ann with What's Up Homestead and today I'm going to can some tomatoes and I thought I'd bring you along. I'm going to use my KitchenAid mixer attachment. It's a vegetable and fruit strainer and it will um, eliminate a lot of time for you when you are doing your tomatoes. Usually you'll have to heat up and boil a big pot of water, put your tomatoes in there, you have to score them, you have to leave them in there for a few minutes, take them all out, cool them off. You have to let them cool down before you could even work on them. So this is gonna eliminate a lot of that. All you have to do is wash your tomatoes, get them clean, and that's all. And sometimes if they're too big, just cut them up into a couple pieces so they fit through the hopper. But I'm gonna show you how easy it is and how quick it is. And also, instead of cooking down your tomatoes, I've got a trick that you can use that you can can your tomato juice and your sauce. You'll have juice and sauce from the same tomatoes where usually if you'd cook it down you would just have tomato sauce and not have any juice. So this will do both. So I'm going to show you the parts and I'll show you how everything works. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the parts. This is the main part. It will go in here into the, I guess it's called the hub. You'll need this metal piece and it will go in this way and that's how that connects to the KitchenAid. Now if you try it the other way, you'll know that it's not the right way because it won't go through there. So put it through here. And you'll have this piece that normally goes in there and just kind of follow right here and tighten it. That way this thing won't move. It'll stay just like that. And then you'll need this. This is what sorry. This is what's gonna help it the tomatoes run through and take out all, all the seeds and the stems and the pulp and everything that we're not going to need. So just put that in and it'll stick out. Just push it as far back as you can. It'll push back. Then you'll put the actual strainer here because this will turn and it will send the tomato through here. So just put that on there and there's some grooves here, and you just line them up like that. So what I what you want to do is just hold that kind of tight. Not you don't have to have it really tight, and just put this here. I don't know the technical terms of any of these things, but you'll 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 see what I'm talking about. And just tighten that up. And now that is almost ready. And this is just a cover to help with the splattering and keep everything contained in here. You'll just kind of hold it till the tip. You'll see the tip come out. Just put it on there. Just work it through and it'll sit right there on top. It doesn't screw in or anything. It'll just sit right there. Okay, there's one more thing. It's just this is a cover. Just sit right there on top. That way it's all contained in here and you won't have the splattering. It'll just come out here. The peelings and everything will come out here. And right here is where all your sauce and juice is gonna come out. And then this is the last piece. You're just gonna take the tomatoes in here. Your tomatoes will have to fit through there, so I'm sure you'll probably have to cut them up. And you'll just feed them through here, and it'll come out through the front. Let me kind of show you. You can see that that's where the tomatoes will be. And I'll show you more in depth when we get started. So let me get my tomatoes cut up and I will be back. Okay, it's on like a two. It's not going to do anything right now until I put the tomatoes in there. So I have some romas that are longer. And I'm going to set it in the hole. 
again, I'm not using the proper term because I don't know what they are. I guess that's a hopper. And I'm just going to feed it through. I'm just going to push it down as far as it'll go. And you can feel it hit. And you should see the stuff coming out in a minute. And it's starting to come out now. And this is the, the main thing right here that mostly I do different. I've got a mesh strainer here. So you wouldn't think, but all the pulp is going to stay in this mesh basket and the juice is going to flow through there. And I'll show you after I do a few. It's not really going to come out till I do a couple more. So just take the tomato, push it all the way down. Some of them will be kind of large and it might be tough, but you can still push it down so you don't have to um, you don't have to cut it. But if it's very large, you won't be able to get it through there. And you'll see here that all the waste is going to come out there. But if you've got larger bowls, it's kind of hard to get these. But this is my waste bowl here. Can't see it's out of the camera, but if you've got two big bowls. They might overlap a little bit, so you might want to use a smaller bowl for your waste. Because you're not going to get as much waste as you are juice and pulp. So I'll just do a few more. Just push it through. I didn't core mine. I didn't do anything but cut them into some big chunks. So let me do a few more now so you can kind of see a little bit more. Put it in there. Okay. that sometimes that will hit the hit the bowl and fall into the sauce instead of into the waste. So you just have to line it up pretty good. That's what it looks like. The tomatoes and you'll you'll be able to scrape that off. I'm gonna scrape some of that off and keep keep it going so it doesn't get clogged up. And here is the waste that is coming out of it. It's pretty clean, a little bit of pulp, but mostly the stems and the seeds. And let's see if I can get you over here. The pulp is staying in the strainer. And under here is the juice. And you can run it around and let some more of the juice fall down to the bottom. If you a helpful tip, if you have your pots on the stove, go ahead and put them on there. That way you can start putting the sauce in one and the pulp in the other and they could start getting warmed up to can. Because this will fill up. If you've got a lot of tomatoes to fill this thing up, it will go pretty fast. Okay, I came to a stopping point. This probably needs to be cleaned off. Here is the waste. Some of it missed. <laughs> Put it through there. And right here, I want to show you maybe a better close-up. I just kind of roll it around. It doesn't have to be all pulp, but if you see down there at the bottom, 
you have juice and I don't know if you can see just some tiny seeds but not very many okay, so for an example I will just move this around and let all that juice fall to the bottom I'll just let the pulp fall into the pot. You don't have to get it all. Then I have another pot. And I'll pour the juice in there and start all over again. It's not even a whole bowl full, but that's just for an example to show you how much just comes out of just a few tomatoes. And right here is my juice. So I'm just going to put this back under there and keep going. And I'll show you how much I get when I'm done. Okay, this is what I ended up with. I'm going to pour some of this out because it is way too much. It's overflowing. That's how much juice I got. And this is a pretty, si pretty good sized pot. And it is full of sauce. Now... I put some of the juice in here just because I had so much and I will cook it down just a little bit but not much. As soon as I go through the recipe for canning tomato sauce, I will have plenty. So it makes a lot and it took a little while because I had so many tomatoes but it was worth it. I did something today and I'm like, oh, I need to do this, start doing this all the time. Because my tomato juice back there was still a little thick. So I've already done it. So I'm just going to show you an example because I put that in the dishwasher. But I just took my strainer and I lifted it up. It doesn't have any, any more because I got it all out. But if you'll just lift it up and you'll have pulp in the middle and just kind of swirl it around. Or take a spoon and swirl it around. And then I just put the pulp into my tomato sauce so I even got more in there this is what I ended up with I have five sauces I have four juices I have two pints and two quarts and I hope you'll stick around for part two of this video where I show you how I canned it